Hello everybody, this is your host, Scope, and we're back with more Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. In the last episode, we became an adult, and Ganon took over the world. Now we are in Kakariko Graveyard, getting ready to equip ourselves to enter the Forest Temple, where we will hopefully awaken the Forest Sage and be that much closer to stopping Ganon and his evil ways. Uh, this isn't one of where I want to go. Bollocks! Hmm, okay, well anyway, what you're gonna want to do is search these graves. Ah, and not get hit by pose. And I think you're supposed to go into this one right here with the flowers. Ah, yes, and we will be in question mark. And who is this fellow? Hehe, <laughs> young man, are you fast on your feet? So pretty much this is Dompe the Gravekeeper, you'll know that from uh, earlier in the game, and I guess he died in the past seven years. And this is his grave. Now, he's challenging you to a race. Not really a race because you can't beat him. But he just wants you to keep up with him through the grave. So basically, just keep up with him. Watch out for the fire, like that, because he will throw them at you to try to impede your progress. Now, don't pay attention to the timer the first time you're playing. Um, when we come back to play this later, again, you will need to beat it in under a minute. But this first time, you just need to complete it. Um, he'll go through certain doors that are on a timer that will close if you don't make it to him in time, so try not to lose him. Pretty much just follow him and avoid the- oh, Every time I say avoid the fire, I get hit by the fire. So yeah, and all you're gonna- Oh! And just uh, keep up with him till the end, and you will be okay. Alright, so I like to try to hug the walls when I'm around a corner that I can't really see what he's done. That way you won't get hit by a fire. Okay, this part right here, I think this is the last part, yeah. So we wouldn't have made it for the minute, because we got hit by the two fires, so pretty much you got to try to not get hit by the fire when you do this a second time. Alright, now let's speak to him. Speak! The time of this race was 109. Hehe, <laughs> young man. You were very quick to be able to keep up with me. Hehehe. <laughs> As a reward, I'm going to give you my treasure. It's called the Hookshot. Alright, we know what a hookshot is, buddy. We've played Zelda before. It's a spring-loaded chain that will pull you to any spot where a hook sticks. Doesn't that sound cool? I'm sure it'll help you. That's right. I live here now, so come back anytime. I'll give you something cool. Sure. Be careful on your way back. Alright. So, for keeping up with them, you get the hookshot like it says. It can pretty much hook onto anything that's like a wooden, or that can be hooked into, you know. Just use your smarts. And this is the item that Sheik was talking about that will allow us access to the forest temple. But before we go there, I think there's a few things we're going to want to do first, now that we have the hookshot, because it is an awesome item. Oh, that reminds me. Yeah, 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 we know. We know what the hookshot is, buddy. Okay, anyway. Like like they said, um, oh, I guess you can't. So you can't, now that you're an adult, you can't use Deku Sticks, the Slingshot, or the Boomerang. Uh, yeah, you can still use your Nuts, your Bombs, your Ocarina, and all that other good stuff. And now we have the hookshot. So, cool. Now to get out of here, you come over here, and when you see these blocks in the game, what you're going to want to do is play the newly learned Song of Time. So the Song of Time will make these blocks disappear slash appear. Alright, so this is how you get out of here, just so you know. And let's see where it comes out. It's got to be somewhere in Kakariko, right? Aha! Uh -huh. And we are back at the windmill. Yeah. So, basically, if you didn't get that heart piece that was on this ledge in the windmill like I did earlier in the game, you can get it now by hopping over to uh, this plank, and then hopping back over to that. Let's see how the windmill guy's going. Oh my god, he looks pissed. Grr. Okay, well, let's talk to him in slow motion. I'll never forget what happened on that day seven years ago. Oh, seven years ago, huh? It's all that Ocarina Kid's fault. What? I hope somebody else has an Ocarina, because it wasn't me. Next time he comes around here, I'm going to mess him up. I'm going to fuck him up. That's right. So, apparently, we did something wrong. Uh, that's kind of like the time paradox thing. Basically, we did something seven years ago that we haven't done yet, but now that we know that we did it, we're supposed to go back in time and do it to create the event that it happened, now having the knowledge that we did it. <laughs> yeah, if that made any sense to you, great. If not... Too bad! Anyway, what else can we do? Yeah, my thing was vibrating right here. Let's set this down and see what happens. Ha ha! 
I might as well check out what's in here. I never knew this was here. Whoa, the water's moving and it looks like it's rising because the walls are going down. It's an illusion. Can I freeze these guys with the hookshot? I'm not sure. Yeah, the hookshot freezes them. So that's a good tool. The hookshot will freeze a lot of enemies in the game. It will also pull you to them, so be careful about that. Alright, we get a treasure. What's it going to be? Rupees? Yeah, it's going to be rupees. When it's a small chest like that, it's usually rupees, unless you're in a dungeon. Then it could be a small key, but... Huge rupee worth a whopping 200 rupees, so that's cool. That'll fill up nearly half of our wallet. Alright, nice to know that's there, I guess. Um, yeah. Okay, be right back. Okay, we are back. Sorry about that. That cut you just witnessed right there was about a half an hour cut. Had to run to the store for someone. Uh, and I completely forgot what I was doing. Well, let's just check in this house, shall we? So I have no idea how long the last uh, episode was, or the last part of this episode, how long it was, so... This might be a short episode. This lady here is really good. She even took care of the carpenters when they were here. Oh, this lady right here? All people have hardships in their past that they would rather no one found out about. Yeah. So it looks like this lady is housing a lot of the people who were kicked out of their village due to... Kicked out of their place due to Ganon's uh, mischievousness. Look at him, the man with the beard. I think he was fired from his job at the ranch. Oh, that snoring sounds familiar. It's Talon. Malin. So it looks like he got kicked out of the ranch, but Malin's not here, or Milan. I wonder what's going on there. Let's go find out. And that damn spot is vibrating again, but I already checked it. I already got the 200 rupees. Is there anything I can use those rupees for right now? I don't know, I can't think of anything. What do you need to buy? I mean, the rupees don't really serve that much of a purpose in this game, really, to be honest. There's nothing you can really buy that's extravagantly cool, like, you know, that's a lot of rupees. Like, uh, in Wind Waker, obviously, you need a bunch of rupees at one point. Uh, a lot of rupees, like thousands. In Twilight Princess, you need the ma to get the magic... Well, you don't need to get the magic armor, but you can get the magic armor. Um, yeah, but in this game, there's nothing... I mean, you've only got a 500 rupee limit in the first place. And there's not that much you can get. You don't really need to buy anything. I don't know. Alright, so we're going to go to Lon Lon Ranch and figure out what's going on here. Oh, we need to come back when it's daytime, huh? Well, I got an idea. Wait. Oh, I'm so glad I finally got that. I wasn't going to look like a fool and I have to look this song up twice in the frickin' LP, was I? Oh, that was close. So if you come back to Lon Lon Ranch during the day, you will notice... Whose face is that on the gate? That is Ingo's face. The former... Uh, what shall we call it? Janitor of uh, the ranch? Let's see what's going on. There are some people in Kikariko spreading rumors that I cheated Talon out of the ranch. But don't be ridiculous, that guy Talon was weak. Ah, the hard work and Ingo poured so much energy into this place. I don't want any strangers like you saying anything bad about me. Listen, the great Ganondorf recognized my obvious talents and gave the ranch to me. I will raise a fine horse from recognition from the great Ganondorf. Say, young man, do you want to ride one of my fine horses? Pay me ten rupees and you can ride. Sure. Do you want to hear how to ride now? I'll, I'll explain it as we go. I said no. Alright, so I guess there is some need for rupees in this game, but not an extreme amount. Okay, so pretty much Ingo rules the ranch now, or Luigi, whatever you want to call him. Um, and he's giving us a time limit to ride the horses, which is why I paused it right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to ride a horse. Hell, why not? But we're going to do that next time on Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Bye-bye, everybody.